On the 4th April 2019, Deputy Inspector General of Police Nilantha Chawardhana, who was the Director of State Intelligence at the time, received intelligence from India indicating a possible bomb attack. Many investigators, both local and foreign, tried to trace the source of this specific information to find out who exactly provided it to Chawardhana. Despite five years of investigation, no team or investigator has been able to identify the source of the information given to Nilantha Chawardhana. However, today I am revealing the living source of that intelligence with evidence. This is Lieutenant Colonel Ravi Mishra. He was the one who first informed Nilantha Chawardhana about the potential bomb attack on the 4th April. At that time, he was serving as an officer attached to the Indian High Commission attached to the RAW in Sri Lanka. It was he who first provided the information to Nilantha Jawardhana. If Lieutenant Colonel Ravi Mishra were brought in for questioning and if asked how he obtained this precise information, including dates and names, it would be straightforward to uncover the story and the conspiracy behind it. He provided this information on the 4th April. As an officer attached to RAW and the Indian High Commission and accountable to the Indian government, this information is highly significant. On the 7th April, three days after this information was given to Nilantha Chawardhana, India's Defence Secretary Sanjay Mitra, along with the chiefs of the Indian Army, Navy and Air Force, arrived in Sri Lanka. So how can the Indian Defence Secretary along with the Chiefs of the Indian Army, Navy and Air Force visit the country at a time when India itself delivered information of the potential attacks? On the 8th of April, there was a joint defence meeting between Sri Lankan and Indian security officials, including the military chiefs of the country. So if Ravi Mishra was aware of this on the 4th of April, the Indian defence delegation that visited Sri Lanka three days later should have been aware of it as well. Given the serious nature of the intelligence, one would expect the primary agenda of this meeting to be discussing the terror threat. Here we see Ravi Mishra and Ilanta Jawardhan at the meeting. The person who delivered the information and the person who obtained the information were both present. We must question why such critical intelligence was not discussed during this meeting on the 8th of April between the two countries' top security officials. At this point, we must also ask if the Indian government has conducted any investigation regarding Ravi Mishra. If not, the Sri Lankan government should request an investigation now. Lieutenant Colonel Ravi Mishra must have had connections with all the key officials in the defence sectors and political leaders of the country. We need to question whether he provided this information only to Nilantha Jawardhana. Lieutenant Colonel Ravi Mishra. आरक्षक आंशिक वाले सीलों निलंदारी इन्नेक का सीलों प्रदान इन्नेक का राते देशपालन नायक इन्नेक का अनिवार्य संबंधता तिब्बत हुई ऐसे ही नाम अभी प्रश्न करने वाला ओहू मैं तोरो तुरा लाभ आदुन्ने निलंता जायवार दिन टा पमनाक्त की इन्नेक का 